Hey guys, welcome back to the Fortified Castle, and today we're going to be looking at five knives, and I'm going to be talking about why I bought them. So, uh, just a little quick video, little, little, little more entertainment and fun uh, to talk about this, because sometimes I don't have a clue why I buy these knives. I just buy them, but um, it's funny how I, I have hundreds of knives, and I can remember uh, buying them and why I bought them uh, on most of them so this is a large knife three and uh, seven eighths and it's a uh, leader actually is the name of this leader and um, can't trace the name of that knife uh, I saw on a blog um, a guy said colonial bought leader out and it looks like a colonial so you know maybe so but this is a well-made knife and uh, I bought it because it has this uh, simulated stag on it. At the time, I didn't have an example of that. And I actually got this knife in a lot. So uh, it, it only cost me like $3 if you divide uh, the knives in the lot into the amount that I paid for it. So just, um, you know, it's actually a pretty good knife. Uh, besides this hideous uh, simulated stag on here. Um this knife right here is an imperial and again i got this imperial in a lot of knives i was going after uh, two other knives and this knife came along with it but um, this knife dates to about 1962 and um it's in real good shape actually uh you can you can still see remnants of the original mirror polish on this knife and um, it looks to me like the knife was chrome. If you can see that, you can see the chrome coming off right there. And so I think this knife originally was chrome plated, the blades. But um, excellent shape. Otherwise, uh, really cool little knife. Um, I don't mind having it. You can see I kept it. Um, this knife right here, I got in an antique shop. It dates to 1986. It's a case, so I've, I had never seen a case advertising knife, and this is an advertising knife that uh, Case produced for this company. Uh, you can see the Case Tang stamp right there, and this knife is three and an eight inches long, and it is a brute. Look at the size of those uh, liners on this knife. It, it, the liners are bigger than the blade stock. And it's it's heavy and strong, and this is just an awesome little pen knife. Um, I'm glad I bought this knife, actually. So uh, that's the story on that knife. This knife here is a uh, Robert Class, really cool. Uh, this is advertised as a gunstock, and Levin's uh, would classify this as a gunstock too. And um, it's a humpback uh, gunstock knife. You can see the hump right there. Really nice knife. Um, and that's why I bought it. I was just trying to get a hold of a Robert Class knife. A nice Robert Class knife. This is a lot different than a lot of his knives that you see. Really nice knife. Genuine stag. Uh, this knife right here is not marked. Um, but if you look up, I'm showing you pictures now of a Camillus, a 1946 Camillus uh, catalog, and this is a sailor's knife, and you can see Camillus calls this knife a um, maritime knife, and if you look close, so those divots are um, corn cob jigging that was in this knife originally. You could see that in the picture of the um, the um, catalog I'm putting up right now and um, it's a cool rope knife I don't know what the age of this knife is I would guess uh, probably um, late 40s early 50s probably on this knife um, I'm certain it is a Camillus knife it's the same jig pattern same dimensions and it looks like a Camillus I've actually got another one of these I should have showed it to you but um Anyhow, that's five knives. Oh, why did I buy this knife?
man, it looks cool, don't it? It's just a cool old rope knife. It was inexpensive. Nobody wanted this. And so I run a home for wayward knives. And, um, you know, knives that nobody else wants. You know, I take them into the home. I care for them. Uh, make sure that they're uh, well-fed, rested, and secure. And so uh, that's kind of what I do. I, I run a home for uh, wayward knives. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you guys for uh, tuning in. If you like the video, like it. And if you would like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Remember, you'll know the truth. The truth will set you free. And thanks so much for watching the video.